just I'm, I've learned a lot through him of how kids are just as much, if not more, a part of the church than adults are because they have so much of their lives in front of them. And that's been really humbling because um, like, it's not just babysitting or, um, or whatever um, while the adults are like doing the real thing. It's, it's quite the opposite. Um, and uh, that night I was supposed to preach a sermon and people just weren't coming to uh, the church. And so I told Jesse, go for it. And he went out to the middle of the village in a, in a tribal area where there's no electricity. And he lit up his torches in, in a dark place where there's no ambient light, no street lights, no house lights. It is dark. And when he lit those torches, it just exploded the whole neighborhood. And hundreds of people came flocking out of their huts to go find out you know, what this was all about. And I decided he had the crowd, he had the sermon, and he started telling Bible stories illustrating and talking in the darkness with these torches and I, I know there were 400 people gathered around in that, that circle of fire and they were just mesmerized. A lot of them had never seen anything like that. There was something mystical about it. You know, and uh, he capitalized on it and he was just able to keep that crowd excited.
pass that faith down through the generations. So I get to do that and I get to use my juggling. Juggling is simply a tool, just like in anything else is a tool, like, like media or art or music or uh, magic or, or balloon twisting, whatever, whatever that tool might be. Juggling is the tool that I've really been drawn towards and, uh, and I get to use it. Um, so that's a little bit of who I am. <laughs> Oh, yeah, jokes. Yeah. Yeah. You're alive. How long are you doing?